So this is a test video with the Bulldog. And uh, we're gonna we're hiking the Florida Trail here. And uh, gotta get him moving. Come on, boo, let's go. Yeah, look at him, he's like a sled dog. He's, he's on his way back to the car and that's his favorite thing to do is when he gets to go back to the car. So we're gonna get him on the video here. And, and uh, yeah, I know, look a little sneeze there. And uh, you know, if you didn't get the story, I uh, bricked my other phone. I dropped it in a parking lot and a car ran over it before I could get to it. So, oh well, hold on one second. There we go. I had the radio on. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean, this is kind of what we have here in Florida. Boy, the weather, but if you want to, <laughs> you got to get out of that cold weather up north, man. This is when you want to be in Florida. I mean, this is, uh, we suffer through the heat in the summer. Although I, I don't mind the heat. It doesn't bother me. But uh, a lot of people, you know, that they didn't have their air conditioning. <laughs> And I'm glad I got air conditioned, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, but it, I did, the, the heat doesn't stop me from doing anything, that's what I'm saying. So, but uh, now, man, it's a, you could just come out here and hike all day, all day long, you know, in this, in this weather. And you see they really maintain the trail extremely well. So, we'll just uh, get this clip. You know, he's, he's doing his thing over here. I swear this dog, he, he wants to stop and sniff everything. Come on, boo, let's go. And, uh, but uh, we'll wait, uh, the trail actually turns back into some pine trees up here. Really pretty section of the trail. So we'll get that, it's, this is just kind of continues on until we get to that section. So I'll cut the phone back on there and we'll make a little, little video and uh, I may or may not throw it up on YouTube. But I did want to show you this, I mean, this is just local hiking. I mean, this is what we got here. Um, there's another trail I'm gonna do, Prairie Farms. I think, no, I guess not. I can't remember the name of it. It's out on 200, and there's a park there, and it's, uh, boy, that trail's got everything. We'll get a video of that, because uh, it goes through some oak trees, and then winds into some, a bunch of, uh, you know, palm trees, and then it goes into an uh, open field type of, uh, so you really get a look at all the vegetation that we have here in Florida. The only thing it doesn't have is like a, a, a pond or a, a swamp, you know, although there is a swampy area that you hike around, and I'll show that to you when we make that video. All right, let's, let's wait till we get to the pine trees. Okay, so we just came down that. We got the boo dog here. I just wanted to kind of show you. There's also, you know, this is Baseline Park. There's a paved trail. And during the rainy months, this is where I was coming to train from, from my trip. Uh, and I just hike around here because you can't do these trails when it's all wet and everything. I don't want to swing around as a person coming up the other way. But this is where I was talking about we're getting ready to dive back into the the trees and this is really cool come on boo let's go get the sled dog up front all right go 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 pull pull whoosh, whoosh. there he goes he loves hiking these trails i tell you what I, he'll fight me on the way out it's really bizarre he kind of knows he's going back to the car and then then he's then he's okay my wife thinks that oh he can't hike that far this dog you you, you could get three miles away from the car and he'll hike the whole, he, he won't, he, he'll pull on the thing and just want to sniff everything on the way out. He won't do anything. That's why I got this basket right here. I put him, put him in the basket and just push him. But as soon as you turn around and start heading back, look at him. He's like a sled dog. But let's get the, uh, the view. This is what I was talking about. Isn't this beautiful? Uh, it's my favorite portion of the trail right here in this, in this area. And I'm just kind of looking around. He stopped to sniff a bit. So I can't wait to see how this video turns out with the new phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Um, I could have gone with the Ultra, which is, uh, but I, I didn't see where the, the extra money was going to be worth it. And man, what a mistake! God, I didn't, I didn't even have insurance on that Pixel 4 that I used to make all the other videos. And then I lost a great video. I had a on the journey back. I camped up in northern Florida. And I uh, had some really awesome video of the Florida Trail up there and uh, lost all of that. You know, I, I don't really back it. I, I guess I could back it up to my, but, but the Google Drive, you know, I only get 15 gigabytes and these videos, you know, they, they take up a lot of space. Uh, I'm not sure how I would have backed up the videos. I just copy them onto my computer and, and then put them on a USB drive, you know, when I'm done posting them on YouTube. 
Anyway, let's get the sled dog. Keep going, boo. Show them. Show them how good you are. But uh, it just kind of kind of winds through here. Um, really easy hike. Really easy. You know, it's just just a very pleasant day. You know, right now. God, I, like I said, you, this is the time of year. Can't wait to start playing golf again. I've been. I'm still. <laughs> can you believe it? I'm still unpacking from the trip and working on the car. I, I really trashed that. Uh, that Kia, man, I <laughs> I did a lot of a lot of crazy. That car wasn't made to go the places that I took it, but uh, that's all right. It's uh, so I'm still getting it ready, getting it ready for the winter. I don't know about you, but I detail my cars twice a year, you know, once for the summer and once for the winter. And so, but uh, this will just continue on like this, you know. Here's a, you know, here's what you get here. You know, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So. We'll get one more action shot of the of the boo dog. Take it on, boo dog. Yeah. Look at him. There he is. The sled dog. <laughs> yeah, he, he can go three miles, don't worry. He those little legs, they're fun to watch, but he he loves it back here, man. Especially when you get off the pavement. He doesn't do that great on the pavement, but once you get on these dirt trails, he He's like, he is the sled dog. All right, enough of the view here. One last look around. Just kind of show you what we're, what we're seeing here. That's why I like this portion of the trail. We're heading on that way. And then we'll come back out into the paved trail and uh, we'll get some video uh, down. There's another section that's uh, got oak trees and oh. we'll get that. Here we are on the pavement and notice the sled dog is right here. <laughs> He just he likes hiking on the dirt trails, but when you get him on the pavement back here, I just want to show you what it looks like. Uh, there's a, if we went that way, we'd be continuing on the Florida Trail. I just thought I'd go ahead and do some of the the paved hike here. I probably have to throw him up in his basket here in a minute. I'll get a actually I get a shot of that of him riding in the basket if I can. Well, yeah, he's 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 still moving, so I'm going to keep him going, but. Uh, this is, you know, this is another thing that, that bothers me about everywhere, you know. Why in the world did we cut all of this down? During the summertime, it's just brutal hot hiking on this pavement. In fact, my shoes here in Florida, I, I, the, the pavement gets so hot, my shoes, the soles <laughs> come off of the shoes. So I glue them back on. But, uh, and uh, there's this glue, I tell you what, if you want to get some glue that's good for all kinds of stuff. I'm trying not to get his face in the video here. There we go. But uh, it's called shoe glue. You can get it at Amazon. A little bottle of it costs $15. And I remember the first time I bought it, I said, man, this is just ridiculous to pay. Because I was trying to use that Gorilla Glue, which just didn't work. And uh, so I bought that shoe glue. And I, I swear that glue is great. It's great for, I, I use it on plastic, you know, like I had a knob break off in the garage and I, I glued that knob back together. And then uh, I've used it, of course, gluing my shoes. You know, you get a lot more life <laughs> out of your shoes here in Florida if you can glue them back together. Because uh, they, they, the, the heat just just takes them and just destroys that soul. But uh, anyway, here he goes. He, he's got a, he's gonna have, he wants to sniff everything once once you get off the on the pavement here. But uh, all right, that's just wanted to give you a look at the paved area and, and complain about the fact that they cut. You know, let the doggone trees grow in so that you have some shade when you're hiking out here. You know, especially in Florida, it makes a whole lot of sense. But they do that on a lot of paved trails, you know, around, well, here in Florida and everywhere else that I've traveled. So, you know, note to trail maintainers, let trees grow. All right. All right. So we're coming up on a bench during the summertime. You know, a lot of, you know, we're out here just sweating our buns off and, uh, there's a little bench over here, and Boo Dog, he's pretty smart. See, look at him. He's making a beeline because he knows that's where he's going to get a bowl of water. And uh, But this is one of the things. There's another parking lot up there for this particular part. This baseline park, by the way. So watch this. Look at him. He's going he's gonna to make... Don't make a liar out of me. He's looking at it. He's look, <laughs> See, there he goes. He's making a beeline for that bench. All right, let me grab the basket. There we go. Yeah, boo, we're gonna stop here. There you go. 
the same way. Sometimes a dog, I mean, he's dumber than a bag of rocks. There's no doubt about it. But I mean, sometimes he surprises me with how smart he is too. You know, he knows he knows where the, where the sponge are that we stop. And you know, when we do the Santos Trail, he, he we got a few picnic tables that we stop at, and they'll just make a beeline for those. All right, boo, say hi to say hi to the camera. There you go. All right, let's, we're gonna get some water, and then we'll, guess we'll continue the hiking video. We're making this into a boo dog video. Look at him. He's going after that water. Get it, boo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sit in that bench so, and relax. This is another pretty section for the trail here. And uh, you didn't see it. I had him in the basket because he he wouldn't he wouldn't walk. And as soon as you get off the, the trail and get him onto these uh, these dirt trails, he's look at him sled dog again. But uh, isn't this beautiful? So you kind of delve back into the an older forest here section and. You know, the, the beautiful thing here is, you know, they haven't cut back the, uh, the forest from the trail, you know, it just kind of meanders through the forest, which is what you want, you know. It, it's kind of showing you, there's the action. Look at him, look at him go. There, oh, dang on it. I'm pushing that basket, I just hit a, hit a root. But uh, just wanted to give you a look at this. this uh, unfortunately, this doesn't go for very long, and it, winds back up onto the pavement and I can't the next section of the trail I can't push the basket through so which is one disadvantage to bringing the dog along because then you got to get back on the pavement but uh hi right, it's good to be out here with him he needs his these hikes uh, my wife babies him you know oh god he he walked for half a mile yeah right that's a, <laughs> he didn't even break a sweat look at him all right so let's just get one last look around here in just a second let's get past the tree there we go so i'll just kind of spin the camera around i think you can kind of see the asphalt right up there that's why i said this didn't last very long so just kind of looking and you know i wish that <laughs> there's sections for the trail you won't even see a mark like that but they but over here i guess in the in the section that uh, the public knows about, they uh, they really mark them. All right, that's enough for now. All right, Let's so I've ditched it. the basket, and we're just going to do a little another portion of the trail here. The good news is, see what it does is it winds down in here, and uh, and then it, I can loop back and come back and get the basket. He's uh, he's falling behind now. Look at him. <laughs> he's he's says, daddy, daddy. Oh no! Now he's pulling on me. There we go. If I have to, I can carry him back to the basket, but uh, he's uh, he's following behind me. That usually is a sign that he's he wants to ride in the basket, but there's no basket, boo, no basket. But it's just a different look of the trail. Uh, you know, that's the that's the neat thing here in Florida. You know, these trails, you you just get a different look at the look at the flowers. Isn't that awesome? You can see uh, just there over here. There's a palm tree. So we'll just go a little further here and uh, get you the look. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about y'all. I was up to 3 in the morning last night watching the election. What a crazy, crazy election. Should be interesting. I tell you what, it's, a, it's more entertaining than anything I can think of. I'm, I've been having fun today, just kind of chilling out. You know, nothing better than a hike after a contentious election. Woohoo! All right, so that's kind of enough of this. It just uh, the basic looks the same the rest of the way on in here, and then and then what I'll do is it kind of loops back up that way, and then I'll get back on the asphalt and then come back to get that uh, basket that's just sitting there because I, I just hope nobody steals it because my car keys are in there. Oh yeah! All right, here we go. I just thought I'd show you a little area here. You know, it's uh, it's a shame that in these parks they don't put more shelters up like that because these sun thunderstorms here in Florida come up really fast. And man, you know, I've taken shelter underneath that thing, but they're few and far between. Actually, that's the only one from, on, and it's all the way on this side of the park because uh, we're just basically we came up came up that. And uh, you know, once again, hey, the Boy Scouts, let's give them a a, a shout out to John M Morosi. Eagle Project, Troop 112, back when back when they existed, 
they did a lot of good good stuff in the parks I, I find picnic tables they made and whatnot so we're gonna hike back up there that's where the basket is on the trail and then if you could see there's a little portage on down there and that's kind of the end of the hike so you got a little this test video just to see how it turns out you know it's just a park here in, in Florida baseline park uh, you know I, and well let's come on come on boo, let's go this way I just want to talk for a minute you know one one thing I don't really understand you know especially in my community is uh, you know we have a this wonderful park system here but uh, you, you know you see the people they just hike around the community you know this is only well, I don't know maybe 20 minute drive you know I would much rather come in here and hike and get some exercise than just hike around the community and look at houses all day I mean no it's a beautiful community but but wouldn't you rather be here I mean I and as you know I, I did see a couple people today but not too many I'm sorry we didn't usually you'll see a turtle we got some big turtles down here and uh, I was hoping to get some video of a, that's one of the turtles a lot of deer in here I had a lot of time man I tell you what they're not afraid of anything I've almost been able to walk up and pet one of the deer in this park so uh, so that's kind of kind of cool but uh, they're not you know they're not afraid of people that's for sure uh, over here I, I didn't even talk about it but we've got a frisbee golf uh, area uh, that just meanders through the uh, woods there really beautiful but really popular too gosh I've seen them uh, they have events from time to time where they come in here and uh, there's a whole bunch of them I guess in having a competition and uh, it's pretty cool I'm glad that uh, there's a big interest in that you know we probably need a few more Grisby golf places because this one uh, it does get quite packed but uh, anyway that's that's kind of it we're going to get back on the Florida Trail up here a little ways further and then I'll get that basket and that'll be it for the day all right see y'all on YouTube all right so maybe this time I'll make it work I just made <laughs> I'm still getting used to this phone I just made a video and I'm testing out oh, the external mic so get the boo dog in here I was gonna tell you that, well last July that's where it all began if you recall uh, at the same shot I'm standing right here after we'd hiked the uh, Marshall Swamp Trail it was 95 degrees that day and I had a pack on <laughs> and man boy I heat rash on my chest after that I guess I shouldn't have done it but uh, I just wanted to make sure I'd be okay so we're gonna do uh, Marshall Swamp not today but uh, again I want you to see it in the winter time it really is beautiful back in there during the winter unfortunately I can't bring the boo dog because sometimes he just poops out and then that's when I have the basket so that I can throw him in the basket and whatnot so I just wanted to test out the external mic. You always got to have your cold water when you get back to the car after a good hike. So we'll see how this video turns out when I get home tonight. And uh, we'll throw it up. And this is kind of, at least you got to see Baseline Park. You know, I'm just going to do some local hikes. But uh, we'll keep expanding them. I'll go further and further out on the Florida Trail. And then there's some other really good hikes in the area for now. And then I... I, I you know, like I said, I lost that video camping up north, and but we'll go back up there and camp again, and I'll make another video. There was a couple portions of the trail that were out. All right, let's put the boo dog down. Hopefully he won't see a deer. Man, if he sees a deer, one quick story. <laughs> I, had him, I had him at a park up in Michigan, and I wanted to see how he'd do without the leash. And uh, so, we, you know, he was doing fine, you know. He was kind of following me on the trail. I was letting him roam around a little bit, you know. All of a sudden, if you ever watch him run, it's like this, you know. <laughs> and he, he just takes off. It was this huge field. I mean, it, it probably like a half mile this field that was that big, and that's why I felt good about letting him roam. But, man, he took off. I didn't know what was going on. I'm chasing after him. Boo, boo, stop, boo, stop, boo, stop. He just kept going, you know, got further and further and further ahead of me. And it turned out there were some deer at the other side of that field. And, uh, and then he disappeared into those woods. And, uh, you know, my wife loves this dog more than me, and I thought I'd lost the dog for sure. But anyway, obviously, I, he, about a half hour later, I got he comes roaming back out of the woods. I guess he was done chasing the deer, thank God, because if I'd lost the dog, I, I, I'd probably be divorced now. All right, hey, let's, let's see how the video turns out.